How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is actually completely different. Uh, this is not a business related video at all. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, cause this is totally not the kind of video I put out. You know, I help people start and grow successful businesses, marketing agencies. Um, but I wanted to share, uh, and I also run a marketing agency myself, but I wanted to share, look, you know, this is a really special moment. Uh, I'm actually going out to pick up a brand new from an approved Rolex dealer, uh, a Rolex Daytona. Um, and I'll put the reference in the description and more on that, um, the specific model that I'm getting. Uh, currently I have a um, Rolex uh, 41 millimeter Datejust with a Jubilee dial, great piece. I picked it up in Amsterdam uh, with a client of mine who I was visiting for New Year's, uh, which was a lot of fun. And I've recently uh, broken some revenue marks in my business that I've been aiming to break for a long time and figured it would be worth celebrating with a new watch. And so I just wanna welcome you. It's gonna be a very fun little video. Um, this is not the kind of thing that I typically do, but I suppose it'd be kind of fun to, tr to attract some people who also are into watches and like watches to the channel. Um, and also show some of my uh, people who, who listen to my um, business advice and follow, follow my content that you know my business is doing pretty well and I'm able to uh, spend a little money and uh, get a nice watch. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Hope you, uh, you know, learn a little something about, you know, what got me to pick the watch that I picked. I don't have much time. This may feel like a fairly rushed video because it is. Um, I was supposed to get the watch tomorrow, but then I found out the bank was closed tomorrow, Saturday. It's Friday, and so I had to move around some meetings. I called my dealer and said, hey, are, can you come in because I'm ready to buy the watch? I can't do it tomorrow because the bank is closed and I need to be able to call the bank and approve the payment uh, on the spot uh, otherwise i can't get the watch put the money aside for about uh, two or three months now direct out of the business ready for this moment i've had my eyes on the black dial steel gold daytona for probably six maybe seven months it has been a gold watch for a very long time uh, the total price tag on this watch that i'll be purchasing today is a seventeen point four thousand. is what i'll be paying today for the watch um, and i just wanted to share the experience because I know there's a lot of people not only on my channel who are into business who enjoy these sorts of things but also there's probably some new viewers who are into the Daytona and I noticed that there's a severe lack of uh, videos available for people who are wanting to buy a Daytona uh, and figured it'd just be kind of a fun experiment to record the process and put it out there. So this is me purchasing a Rolex Daytona. I, I highly doubt I will remember to bring out the camera because I'm so incredibly excited for this. Um, I've wanted this watch for li I couldn't tell you how long so I apologize if I don't get the best video in the moment while it's going down, uh, but I will do an extensive review of the watch. So sort of once I have it back, hopefully later tonight, I'll, I'll be able to sit down and really pick apart what it feels like to be coming down from a new watch purchase. Uh, for those who don't know much about watches and follow me typically, you gotta understand a watch purchase is, it really is either an investment or it's a break even, um, it's like wearing cash. Uh, if I were to sell the Daytona, I could probably sell it either for more or potentially a little less, but I wouldn't really be losing 17 grand today. At worst case scenario, I would lose two or three grand. And considering, you know, where my business is at, that is only one or two sales, really only really one sale. Uh, it's completely worth the investment and it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So hopefully this video is valuable. I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to uh, go ahead and go purchase the Daytona. I'm on the way to pick up my girlfriend who wants to come with me. So I'm going to go do that, and then we're on the way to the Rolex dealer uh, and to my uh, dealer, Brian, who's going to help me with the transaction today. So let's get into it. So I just hopped in the car. I just wanted to note something kind of cool. When you go through an approved Rolex dealer, they have a really neat little book, and I didn't know, um, and it just shows you the history of Rolex, all the models. Uh, and so I just, I just really encourage going through an approved Rolex dealer. I'm on the way to them now, obviously picking up my girlfriend first. Uh, but they just treat you right. And you want to develop a relationship with a dealer. That is the way to do it. Of course, I've bought and sold uh, watches on a popular site. Those of you may know Chrono24. Uh, bought and sold plenty of watches. Um, and this is my first time going through an approved Rolex dealer. Obviously, besides uh, the date just in Amsterdam. But it's hard for me to develop a relationship with them because they're on the other side of the world. So uh, it's just an exciting experience. Got the book, my, my wallet's ready, uh, car's ready, gassed up, ready to go. And uh, I'm gonna cut the bull crap and get to it. We're 
on the way to the Rolex dealer right now. We got the Rolex book that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. This is my girlfriend, Lily. Hi. Uh, she's coming along. And uh, so yeah, my man Brian is actually, he doesn't work on Fridays, but um, he's coming in today specifically for this. So it's pretty sweet. Yay, Brian. Yay, Brian. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're on the way now. It's about like probably 15 minutes out. So he's be there at 1.30, it's 1.15 now. So we should be just on time. Yay. So we'll get you guys posted once we're there. We're here at Reese Nichols. Walking into Reese Nichols. Brian should be in there. I'm not sure if he is or not. So if he's not, we'll just wait in the lobby for a sec. Good stuff. I this is cool. Yeah. It actually was perfect timing because I did stuff this morning and I didn't really have anything in the afternoon. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so happy, dude. I had to wait on the phone for like a half hour to figure out what the frick was wrong. What? You recording? Yeah. Hard work. I had to call the bank and figure that out. So we're ready to rock. Um, we're gonna get the watch side of stuff. And I'll be walking out of here with it. Woo! But I can't do over 5,000. I mean, that's smart for protection that makes purposes. Sense. Unless that makes you had it like purposely set up. Yeah. Well, I have not set this or anything. Okay, cool. Four. This is gonna be forever watching. Woo! Oh, there it is. And I'll do. Um, there it is. Do a little video. Yeah, no, I'm like a video nice for somebody's mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I prefer to almost do it on your wrist just because it's otherwise eyeballing here. It's That's like, true. It can be tough. So we're yeah, you're gonna need a bunch out. That's normal. Yeah, I've got smaller. There's a hidden link here. Mm -hmm. Easy it's a, link extension. It's the same thing on the on the date. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, take out take out you're three in the and range I want to three or four. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather it be loose than tight. Uh huh. So let's do three for now and see how it feels. Sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. You get the little plastic on the bottom. And all the plastics off. All the plastics off. Sweet. Okay, I'm just yeah, making no, sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Sweet. Oh my gosh, man, that is killer. That's amazing. Wow. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> wow, man. That's awesome. That's cool. And what's your name, Bob? Mike. Mike. Yeah, we. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just got the watch. Watch purchase. Yeah. He's screaming on the inside. I am. I am weak. <laughs> I cannot stand up. Yeah. Yeah, looks great. Looks great. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Super excited. First time winding it up. I'm not, I'm not sure if they have yet or not, but it's my first time doing it. Let's see. It's popped out. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Now we're winding it. It's coming along. That's an incredible experience. If you're going to buy a Rolex, do it through an approved dealer for sure. That was pretty sweet. It was a cool experience. I paid a little more. I may have lost a little extra money, but not much. And to develop a relationship with an actual dealer, if you're going to do it, this is the way to do it. Um, okay, let's see if this is wound. So we will uh, test with the top starter. Yep, we're wound up. I don't know if the camera can see that, but the timer hand is kind of going around now. We can stop it, restart it. There you go. We're round up. Sweet. I love it, dude. I'm in love with this watch. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. It's so like cool, it. dude. It's so cool. And I'll take this little plastic off the bottom here as well. Probably nothing that you really, you kind of know all the important stuff. But there's this also nice little leather sleeve. Your warranty. I saw it. My next step is to fill out and actually have a warranty here. Okay. Um, but yeah, five year international warranty you know, the same day year from now. There you go. Reference number 116503. Did you ever notice where you find your, if you're looking for your serial number, how you can see it? On the watch? Uh huh? No. Check it out. I'll give you a hint. You can, you can see. Yeah. Really? So they started, I, I think they around I knew they aligned the R O L E X with the, the seconds, but I didn't know they did that. That's where they hide, because they used to have serial numbers kind of hidden mm -hmm. in the bracelet. I mean, I think it's awesome that you can see your serial number. They started randomizing serial numbers, I think around 2012 or within wow. the last decade. And so these are, that's um, only on newer watches, you're saying? Yeah, so anything like before 2010 would not have a serial number, that a serial number would be hidden in the bracelet. That's pretty sweet. Uh -huh. I did not know that. Uh -huh. That's cool. 
Yeah, the only similar tidbit that I knew was the tiny little engraved crown on the glass. A very similar, like, uh, uh -huh. bit that I learned kind of. And another along cool the thing, lines. like when I look at a date dress, yeah. so it says Swiss made at six o'clock, right? There's right. a little crown in between the Swiss made. Yep. That is your tell on the dial that this has the newest 32, 35, and not the previous 31, Got it. 35. I love it, dude. Yep. I love it. Yep. So just just for reference too, if I were to ask for this specific watch for you to order, how long would I have had to wait? The, like answer, I really the answer is it depends. It um, depends. Can you give you a mean and, or an average? How long I would yeah, have had to wait? It, it also depends. Like I don't know if if I have another order in front of you. Then right. let's say I get one, you have to wait another three months. If you just ordered it, um, maybe within three months if you're lucky. About three months. But uh, it should come within a year. That is so wild because I got pretty lucky. It's like there. these watches take over a year to make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Rolex, it's cool. So when they make Daytonas, right? Mm -hmm. They allocate, they say, I can just pick a number for the sake of numbers. They make, honestly, right now, Rolex, half of what they do would be steel sport models, but what they do yeah, is it's true. they just don't operate like that. Yeah, they, they control it. They want to control yeah. it. I think that's yeah. what they're trying but to they do. They, still, don't want they to... still produce on an industrialized scale. They've been actually running, um, they made a change in the last couple of years because demand's so high, they've been running like around the clock at their own foundry, right? They don't just use the same gold everybody else does. Their 18 karat gold alloy is in-house proprietary. They have their own foundry, mm. like their mm. own metal foundry. Like that's they what control I've heard. That's every incredible. aspect. That's incredible. And they've been working like around the clock shifts. They were closed for a little while due to yeah. COVID, but. Wow. Um, yeah, that's what I would have scared about. That's what I heard. I would have yeah. scared about the metal foundries closing like some of people, COVID. Yeah. yeah. It is, it is cool what they're doing and they're producing, they're just, they're not going to compromise and do the market sale, let's mm -hmm. make things faster. Or right, more they're not that way. Build they, another family. They're willing it's to wait. like that, like Mr. Comp has like the Pepsi bezel, like a bi-colored bezel. Right. Like, I guess they only have two ladies that are trained because it's such a precise for, operation. It's like for the bezel? two ladies that wow. do that bezel. So it's like, you think about the world and it's a watch every month. It's like, that. you've got, like, think about it. Every single watch is produced. It's, like that art is done by one of two people. Wow. Like this isn't just a higher class of awesome. people and producers. Because it's a specialized, it's, like, it's, it follows like there's an yeah. economic law of specialization. Everybody plays yeah. a specific it's little cool role. It's how Rolex like refuses to compromise. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Quality. That is pretty sweet. Well, this would be first, but certainly not last. Oh. With you guys. Yeah. Show me back. I was saying, it's not your first Rolex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, cool, let me do some back end stuff because I've been meaning to, but I can chit chat. Sweet, yeah, we'll do your thing. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll make it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'll that. Well, that, I said, I feel like this would be the reason they put me in a form. Like, I'm going to pull in the and then call it man. There you go, I like it. All right, just coming out of the store, finalized everything, what? coming home with it. Rolex Daytona reference. I'll put the reference on the screen or in the description. Black dial, yellow gold, steel. Yeah. Feels amazing on the wrist. It just, it's it's an incredible feeling. Uh, I recommend everybody go through an approved Rolex dealer. If you want the number of my guy, if you're in the Midwest, I'll hook you up. Um, yeah, just totally brilliant experience. Freaking fun. Good deal. Just cool. <laughs> just freaking cool. I love it. All right, so I uh, just got back from the dealer, had to handle a little work uh, in between. Everything has been a crazy day. Uh, but wearing the watch has been on the wrist for about like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Uh, it's freaking, it's crazy. I'll be honest, I just came off of like a sales meeting, so my mind is not watch right now. And I'm kind of going back to watch mind and I'm freaking out. So it's really <laughs> cool. So if you want to come over here, we can show them. This is the old watch. Uh, the old date just I'm throwing it into the box here. I've got some other watches uh, nothing horribly special here uh, But I'll just be throwing this in here and probably keeping the box keeping the Papers everything like that uh, Yeah, let's go to lunch and just kind of wrap up the day And I'll probably talk a little bit more about what what the watch means to me and you know why I decided to pick up a Daytona of all of all watches and um, Hopefully those of you who are in the market for a Daytona uh, You know, it's been a valuable video for you. Uh, I know I'm no I'm no expert but I definitely really have a lot of appreciation for, for the watch itself. So uh, yeah, let's go to lunch and uh, we'll talk a bit more about it there and then wrap up the video. 
All right, guys, wrap up to a good day. So, um, obviously, I picked up the watch, went for lunch. Um, and I just kind of wanted to share a little bit of my thoughts on, like, you know, when it's a good time to make an investment into a watch. At what point should you think about doing that sort of a thing? Um, and really what this watch means to me, because, you know, I don't think you should just do it lightly. I also think I'm a big believer that you should buy a watch that kind of challenges you a little bit, even financially, maybe, um, because it's, uh, it's a good thing to sort of push for. Uh, you can sell it at any time, make the money back, so it's a cool thing. So, uh, yeah, you know, obviously, you know, I run, I run two businesses. I run an education business and I run a marketing business. And, uh, you know, I used to look at people who would wear watches like this and just kind of like dream of having it. I've never been a huge car guy. I'm into cars, but I'll go for watches first. Um, and, you know, I just think that to set a goal and achieve it, and you know, that's what Rolex stands for. It's why their brand is the way they are. It's why. Most people that I know, a lot of people who I do work with, uh, you know, shout out to a couple names, you know, Bastard Slot, um, Kyle Bindi, my buddy Kyle, my buddy John Baines, Keaton Wolf are some of my top students, Juan, Colin Turner, all these people, a good friend of mine, Iman, you know, all these people, you know, they're into goals, goal setting. I think that's what a watch represents, is sort of like the attainment of a goal. So, you know, Really, it's it's all it's all just a matter of perspective. Some people will do it just for the luxury of it, and others will do it because uh, you know it's it's a celebration of kind of becoming the person that is able to do it. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's the wrap up of the video. I think I'll wrap up the video here on uh, the Rolex Daytona. Um, great watch. Super excited to be in ownership of it. Uh, again, if you're in the Midwest or specifically if you're in Indiana, uh, feel free to message me on Instagram, anything like that, and I'll hook you up uh, with my guy Brian who helped me make this happen. Uh, Brian, if you're watching this, I got you, buddy. Um, and yeah, that's my thoughts on the watch. Uh, I'll probably before, I don't know if I'll do it after or before, but I do want to show you guys the box setup and everything like that, so I'll probably cut that in as well. I'll record that later and cut it in and end the video with this. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the Daytona.